Let's learn English. 12 minutes a day. What apps or sites do you use to improve your English? Unit 4. The Mass Media. Communication and Culture. Objectives. One. Communication. Learning English with video. Unit 4. Page 54. Communication and culture. Communication. Activity 1. Listen to a conversation between Nam and Mai about learning English with video. Decide whether the following statements are true or false. What do you think of the video clips we watched in our English classes? I like them because they are interesting. The language is authentic and they help me to improve my English. How about you? Well, I think some videos were interesting and helped me to learn things like new expressions. But most of them were just entertaining and time consuming. Which ones? You know, many of us had already watched the series about Mr Bean and the IT crowd before we saw them in class. I think it was a waste of time to watch them again. I had also seen most of the episodes, but I still liked watching them in class with no subtitles. And I enjoyed discussing the ideas with my classmates. Well, I didn't have much to say. These series are very popular and repeated frequently on many domestic TV channels. You can also see them on many social media websites for free. I think our English teacher should choose less familiar films or TV series. You might be right. My brother's teacher asks her students to vote for the videos they want to watch and sometimes even lets them bring in DVDs related to the themes of the lessons. Sounds like a great idea. Yes, but I still think that our teacher should choose the content. Not all videos are suitable to watch in class. Unit 4, page 54, Communication and Culture, Communication, Activity 1, Listen to a conversation between Nam and Mai about learning English with video. Decide whether the following statements are true or false. What do you think of the video clips we watched in our English classes? I like them because they are interesting. The language is authentic and they help me to improve my English. How about you? Well, I think some videos were interesting and helped me to learn things like new expressions. But most of them were just entertaining and time consuming. Which ones? You know. Many of us had already watched the series about Mr Bean and the IT crowd before we saw them in class. I think it was a waste of time to watch them again. I had also seen most of the episodes, but I still liked watching them in class with no subtitles. And I enjoyed discussing the ideas with my classmates. Well, I didn't have much to say. These series are very popular and repeated frequently on many domestic TV channels. You can also see them on many social media websites for free. I think our English teacher should choose less familiar films or TV series. You might be right. My brother's teacher asks her students to vote for the videos they want to watch and sometimes even lets them bring in DVDs related to the themes of the lessons. Sounds like a great idea. 
Yes, but I still think that our teacher should choose the content. Not all videos are suitable to watch in class. Two, discuss what videos you would like to watch in your English lessons classes. Give reasons. Example, in my English lessons, I really like to watch some authentic shows like America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, The Ellen Show and other fun and interesting programs. I think watching these videos are really helpful for improving my English in natural ways because I get to know how native speakers communicate in real speaking contexts. Culture, social media apps. 1. Read the text. Give short answers. The advancement of technology has enabled the internet users to access various social networking apps. Most of these apps are designed to help people to keep in contact with their friends and share information. They are easy to download, install and update. Free apps have only basic services, but the paid ones have more advanced options. Most social networking sites and apps offer users communication, entertainment and security. You can chat with and send messages to your friends and followers using Live Messenger and Mail functions. You can listen to music or watch videos on video sharing apps, which also allow you to create your own video clips and share them with friends and family. For people who like playing games, there is a wide selection of game apps in all genres for all ages. The most popular ones are action and adventure games followed by puzzles and board games. Mobile security apps are designed to protect and secure smartphone and tablet devices, in cases of theft or loss of data. Additional features include virus detection and removal, and scanning websites for phishing scams. Most apps are fun and people use them all the time, to chat with friends, play games, get directions, check the weather forecast, read news and books, and a lot more. However, before you decide whether to download an app, you need to go through its functions very carefully and read the user reviews.
to discuss some popular social networking apps and their functions. Example, among popular social networking apps, I often use Duolingo and My Happy Planet to improve my English and Korean. Duolingo is a site you learn other languages. It involves different types of exercises to help you better your language skills. My Happy Planet is also a free site to learn other languages and share your language skills with people around the world. It offers a great way to find new friends across the globe to chat with. There are also many video lessons to choose from and many written lessons that other members have posted. There seems to be a very active and vibrant community there. Consolidation Homework Thank you for watching.